as we all get set for kickoff. And the Kiwi Samoa test is underway here at Eden Park. And it's going to be the Samoan team with the first position. And Fowler, the captain, straight into the action. Bit of adrenaline being released by several players. Papali'i first up there to make the tackle. And now here comes Marion Seve. Yeah, in the centres for Samoa today. Those late changes for Samoa again. No Brian Tuttle. They'll miss him on the wing. Isaac Tungle not playing either in the centres for Tua Samoa. And Liniu is hit hard. We know how much of a damaging runner he is, but Joe Tapane has been in excellent form all season. And there he is making another tackle, Tapane. And they've managed to keep Samoa inside their 40 for the first set. And there goes the kick from Arsi. As it goes all the way down, a chance to quick start. Yeah, sound for a set there from Samoa. Nice, simple, basic footy, sort of tic-tac their way up through the middle and get a good left foot kick away with Dejan. So, yeah, they'll be happy with that. I guess, uh, too, Sean, with the, the emotions and all that adrenaline we saw, it's very important to get to your kick on the first set. Yeah, that's exactly right. Sometimes you can get a little carried away, try to play the ball a little bit too fast, uh, but they, they were nice and steady there. Now it's just important for the Kiwis to reply and get themselves into the groove. Well, here's Fisher Harris, of course, just won another grand final with the Penrith Panthers. Four and a dummy half that late change. Here's Joe Tapanet over the halfway line. So this is good post contact meters here made by Joe Tapanet. Options left or right here. Still two tackles left in the set as well. As we have Brown handling the ball. Now Papa Lee, good tackle on him. That's Brighton. Of course, playing in the sixth jersey today. Again, just like he was against Australia. The four and on the last. Standing nice and tight there was Hughes. Oh, he's overcooked it. That's exactly what we just sort of spoke about, you know, establishing yourself nice and early. I'm sure Jerome will let that one go and get straight back on task. Yeah, strange to see Hughes not playing with headgear today. Yeah, maybe. Uh, can we run that out for him, get it back on his head? <laughs> very odd, isn't it? Well, they're up very quickly there on Samoa's Tommy Talau. He's come in for Tango in the centres today. Of course, a Tigers player. And now Greg Marju. Now, he's always going to be tough to handle. One of the best tackle busters in the NRL. Marju up to the halfway line. And now Samoa get into the Kiwis' territory. Be Crichton on the 40. Go three. There goes Chen. Kung Tong. That hooker today. Manly Seagulls player. That's a great run from Paolo. Ruck speed's pretty good for Samoa as they get it out to Leilua on this left edge. But Hughes is there to make the tackle. So is Joey Manu. Last play now for Samoa. Asi. And that's that kick over. Oh, really tall. What a catch that was. Yeah, impressive for him. Oh, nothing better than as a half senior winger, just go straight up for it, commit, and come down with the footy. Now Tomoko. How cool to see Matt Tomoko with the Kiwis jumper. Yeah, he's had an amazing season. Uh, strike centre, a, a, a real physical, nuggety sort of player. Really hard to handle. He's got yeah, fantastic tackle busting qualities. Here's Nicole Klukstar. Well, a close chance. Nicole Klukstar down nicely there, but. Back in the mark, Ooh, that was an interesting call by the referee there. Looked like a sloppy play the ball. Maybe Samoa a little unlucky not to get a get the ball. There is Tafane. Gives it out to Fisher Harris. Well handled again by the Samoa defence. Up to it was Seve and Stephen Crichton. There goes Hughes with the kick inside the 40. He's kicking into a bit of a breeze, by the way, as well. Samoa playing with the wind in the first half. Here comes Farlongo. What a game from him last week. Ooh, oh, he off, right? looks like he's got the goods. The way he moves, so silky. Kiwis are going to have to be on. Edge is going to have to be attached. They want to stop him. Oh, he was up to the task last week. He's only just turned 20. Kieran, straight out of there. I love the way he played last week. Unlucky not to get that try from that kick and chase. Now, that was Daolangi. Could have been playing for Australia, but decided to play for Samoa. And here's Maju again. Using him up the centre of the field. Go for it was Chan Kum Tung again. Now, Palo. Just, just watching the early exchanges here, they look like they're sort of chasing up that third man, uh, that third man somehow. A lot of the time it's actually Foz. You know, he's coming in, making third tackle uh, at the legs and having to get back and turn around. He's got another big boy coming straight at him. So, hopefully, me old mate can hold on, eh? <laughs> Jermaine, he's a hardcore there. But slow to get up off that one. One of the Kiwis players, of course, that could have been playing for Samoa today. Has played for Samoa in the past. Uh, he claims of a crusher tackle there he was claiming as we see Manu take his first carry. Two and down, two and down. Stephen, hey. 
the centres today, of course, played in the number one jersey last year. We ran for like a million metres in that game against Tonga. That's the blueprint right there for Brown. So strong, so strong. When he's looking to carry out a yardage, I think he might be in a bit of a mood today. It's tough to again, being busy early in the match. This Hughes with the kick again. Bit of an arm wrestle in the opening stages to this game after five minutes. There's Fatalonga once again. Good chase from Foran. And Papaliti as well. Our good tackles right there made by the Kiwis. And here is Murray Taulangi. Well, that late chase with Foran starting for New Brown. So far, it's going pretty solid. In fact, both teams completing all of their sets so far. Yeah, bar that first kick from Jerome that he got uh, wrong, I think you can see them starting to edge their way down the field now, starting to get some field position, carrying the ball well and finishing the sets like, really well. Here's Junior Paolo. There goes the kick from Dejan Arce. Tries to put star. So reliable under the ball. He's a... He's looking directly into the sun there as well. Safe. Yep. He didn't drop a ball yet, did no, It didn't feel like it. And just watching him there, just so safe. Gives your teammates so much confidence. Well, we got Courtney Tidy sideline for us after six minutes. Kia ora, Courtney. Your Kia ora, team. Just some updates on the late changes to the size. Brian Tucker, his wife, is having a baby as we see Samoa secure the ball there. Uh, Isaac Tonga didn't pass a fitness test, and just before this game, the Kiwis decided to give Kieran four in the start. Well, there's an error from the Kiwis. Thanks, Courtney. So here's a big chance. Maybe the first try scoring opportunity in this game with Samoa right on the 20. And now Crichton setting it up. And here comes Utoi Kamanu. Well, some good fending coming on right here from Luki. Big tall player, long. Albatross kind of arm reach on Lukey. Yeah, when I when he actually came onto the field earlier this year, I looked up, I seen the size of him, I said, what are you doing out here? <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Chan Kum Tong. Back to Dejan Asi. Inside the 10 now. So Samoa with three tackles left in the set. This crowd will come alive if the Samoan team can score first in this contest. Here's Paolo. This he came for Junior Paolo, taken by Isaiah Papali who once again. Go for Bit of a lazy play there from Papali'i. Back on the inside, a chance now for Greg Marju. That's a good tackle. He's a hard man to tackle five metres out. Here's Asi. Got to be accurate with the kick. Oh, it's a miss. Referee's going to not blow his whistle. And look out. Here comes your man, Issa Ako. That looked like a knock on there for sure, didn't it? Yeah, it's a not. contest. Yeah, but you put the ball in the right spot, you never know. And, uh, you know, Kiwis come up with it, now they're straight back into their work. Oh, that's a good dominant tackle from the Samoan players right there. That was a ripper of a shot there on Chance Nickel Crookster. And now he's Muli Talu. Had some interesting times in that pre match cultural challenge, Nikora. Another really solid season from him in the Sharks lineup this season. Foot, really Sopano, plays a bad game. Hardly ever gets injured as well. Now Hughes running it to the line. Oh, the pass has gone to ground. Great shot there on Joey Manu from Taolangi. I like the look though. Jerome looking down a short side, but now able to skip up to being great that overlap. When you've got a silky centre outside you on Manu, you know you're giving the ball more times than often he's going to come up the right decision. This time he just got a little bit wrong. He was looking to flick it on, wasn't he? So far, defensively, Samoa have been on point. Pretty much like that guy right there. If you're looking around the crowd, they are riding every play at the moment. It is so good. Yeah, it's a great atmosphere at Eden Park. Yeah, Hope you're enjoying the coverage, folks. In the middle of the Pacific Championship, congratulations to the Kiwi Ferns who had a good win over Tonga earlier today. And New Zealand A, who beat Tonga A in the first of this triple header today. That was an entertaining fixture. Hold Tight here, start to this match. Utoi Kamanu. Now Paolo. Papali'i James and James Fisher-Harris taking no Moses. risks. Hold. Getting up Go in the two. face of Junior Paolo. One of the worst players you want to give too much space to. Like this man right here. Spencer Lenu. In the 14 jersey, but playing at lock in this game. Now Asi again in a bit of space. Crichton. 
a little clunky that time. As Utoy Kamanu just takes the tackle on the fourth. They might cook up a fourth or a fifth tackle play right here, though, the Samoan team. Asi, out to far long or Here's Leilua. Kiwis drifted in defence pretty well there. So last play now is Talao. Plays it for Samoa. Oh, his kicking's been good so far. Has to be again as Muri Talo. Up he goes. Still got Samoa on ball. Here's Talo. Great hands there from Talao. The Maju, in fact, it was. And in the end, it all comes to nothing for Samoa. Again, another good set. Asking lots of questions, but Kiwi's defence up, connected, double dam, pushing off slide and working together and solving it. And then a special play here, Jerome Hughes comes from the other side of the field, scrambles and makes a tackle. Yeah, it was really good play. Kiwi's defence fully tested on that set. But they passed. The initial examination as we see Joey Manu. Just watching some more attacks, sometimes unorthodox. The unorganised at times can actually be harder to handle. And although Samoa at times looked a little disjointed during that uh, set on attack, they're still asking questions one on one. You've still got to come up with your one on one tackles, which Kiwis did. Speaking of one on one tackles, there's a good shot there from Marion Seve on Isaiah Papali'i. Now Brown to the line, that's good play. Oh, Manu drifting up. Now we heard about this early in the lead up to this where we might see Manu and Chance Nuku Kukstar kind of share the fullback position in this game. Almost intercepted right there by Crichton. He is one of the best going around at taking those. You've just got to be so careful every time you've got him in a two-on-one situation. He's looking for that every time. Crichton. In the middle, boys, we're on the Interesting call by Ben Garner to put him in the sixth jumper, Sean, isn't it? Yeah, when you've got these talented players, you know that they can fill a role everywhere, and you might have a sender that, you know, coming in, I guess, as his backup, can fill that role, but then someone can fill the five-back role. So, in this case, I think it's the right decision. Well, Jerome Luai is probably watching this. Boys, you're watching, Jerome. Kia ora to you. Going. Hope you're enjoying All the game. Way, make sure you hold. Hold no Steven. points or okay, shot clock off. get too excited about so far. Just had sole shoulder up, surgery. Yeah, the Kiwi's got a full set 40 metres out here. Good step by Dylan Brown. Explosive runner. Four and continues at dummy half. And now here's Joe Tuppenet. into a magnificent player. Oh, As we see Foran slot back into dummy half. Here's Hughes. Little quick start. Quick hands needed there by Manu. Jamming in beautifully to make the tap. I think it's Talangi again. It's like he's stolen the Kiwis playbook. Here's Liotta. On the right edge is a chance here. Nickel Kukstar yeah, hitting the line nice and hard. Beautiful ball. And Jermaine Isako is in to score a try. That's wonderful execution. Yeah, really well executed. You see them went down the first time a couple of plays earlier. That time, that left edge solves it for Samoa. Chance banks that and goes straight back at it and picks the right option. That pass was a gem. You've taught him well, Sean. No, 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 <laughs> Chance. It's probably not the part of Chance's game that is he's probably gets enough credit for. Um, you know, we, we're always sort of looking for the, the higher percentage play, just the simple through the hands. But when you go onto the line Thanks, and the defence wants to give you a read, you've got to come up with that decision on the run, and he did the exact, that's exactly what he did just then. Jermaine Isako, what a season yeah, he's had for the Dolphins. He, of course, record point scorer this season in the NRL. And he had an amazing season. And here he goes in. 24 tries, 73 goals this season for Jermaine Isaako. And in he goes to score for the Kiwis. Yeah, mate, the yeah. second try. Good to see him back in the lineup. Hasn't played. This is his first test since 2019. He had a tough couple of years there at the Broncos and then the Titans, but. He's back to his best, isn't yeah. it? The more you watch, the more you watch that, that ball playing from Chance is. Well, he's gone down two plays earlier. Tuilang has come up the right read on Joey Manu out the back and stopped the play. So he banks it. They get the right split. He calls hot, overcall, goes straight back at it, holds the ball long enough and picks his, picks his option correctly. I'd love to take some credit for that, but I can't. Not at all. <laughs> Here, here's Jermaine Isaako with a conversion attempt now. 
It's a touched on kicking at 72% this season. Judged that one beautifully, didn't he? So six points to nil after 15 minutes. Just a beautifully executed play from Charles Kukukukusta. Only difference between these two teams has been a very tight start to this match. Has been, and you've seen, you know, when we were down the other end, Samoan, Samoa looked a little bit disjointed at times. They've got a different style of attack, but the Kiwis a little bit more structured, know where they can attack from. They know their points, and they know what plays to call from those points. So in that instance, Chance has obviously been given the role to hold that short side, sees the right cues, calls hot, and we go up 6-0. Magnificent year for Chance Luka Kukusta. The thing I like about Chance more than anything I think most of us like is that it doesn't matter what jersey he has on, he just gives it 100%. Every second. Now that's a good kickoff too. Surrender! Kiwis couldn't link up with a back fence runner that time. As we see forward, back into dummy half now, Moses Liotta. Spencer, clear up! Nice stuff for Moses Liotta. If he and Fisher Harris can work in tandem alongside Joe Tarpanet, then New Zealand will start to really make some metres up the middle of the field. Speaking of Fisher Harris, here he is. Let up now! Hold! Six more! Six more! No tackle! Now first set restart in the game. Brown. Now Isaiah Papali'i. Another player in the Kiwis team that's played for Samoa. Here's Tapani. Hughes, a big quarter. Good tackle on him that time by Tommy Talau. Four, and here's Liotta getting more into the game now. Up now, Spencer. Oh, Junior. So Samoa haven't had the ball for a while. They've been doing nothing but tackling for the last three or four minutes. There goes that inside ball from Hughes. And the offload from Tapani. Kiwi starting to click now. Here's a chance. And it comes to Molly Talau. Oh, yeah. That's out of finish. Ronaldo Molitalo. Second try for the Kiwis. Well, that was slickly executed, that one. It's an impressive passage of play. Roll, 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 get a six again, straight on the attack. No plays wasted, falling straight into their shapes. Moving the footy well and getting connected from the middles to the edges, and you see Ronnie get the rewards on the end of it. Ooh, hang on. Hang on, that left arm. Just hold the phone. This angle might show it right here. Well, 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 the bunker <laughs> might have a look at that one. Has he touched the arm? Yeah, looks like he's touched the line or before he's part of the ball. So let's have a look and see if that gets reviewed. Pretty slick play though, wasn't it? Yes. Severing the touching goal line. Got a look at that aspect as well, James. He just wants to look at, yeah, yeah. Ronaldo's left arm goes touching goal prior to the ball being grounded. We have a decision. So no try for the Kiwis. Oh, yep, zero coming. I still, I like the play, Sean. Yeah, you got to, you take the result out of it. I think the passage of play we've just seen from the Kiwis. You mentioned that Samoa's made tap, just been tackling the whole time. Takes the sting out of them when they carry the footy, builds pressure. And obviously hey, we didn't get the finisher in the corner, the but the style of play, the, the way we're moving the footy at the moment, we can bottle that. We'll get one soon enough. Well, let's see how Samoa respond now with the seven tackle set. Kiwis will be primed to make some big tackles as well. Carry that time for Seve. Now here's Maju. Hasn't quite got that tackle busting machine going just yet, Greg Maju. Yeah, and Joe Tuppenhead slicing each other up after that little exchange. This is great defence from New Zealand. See now, James, back up. Hold. It's the Hold. perfect way you want to respond. Not getting the call in the corner. Seven tackles set. This is what their fourth tackle, and they're 20, 27 metres off their line. So, way to get on to the next job. Yeah, they've only made seven metres in the set so far. There's a touch more, but even that 
There's a slow play the ball. It's time for New Zealand defence to get set. Make the next tackle right there on Utoi Kamanu. And there's the kick from Crichton. He's going for a 40-20 here as he kicked it out on the full. Oh, that's not what Samoa needed right there. It's what happens when you get put under pressure. You try to come up with something that wants to make a play for his team. And this is what happens when you just don't quite get it right. I like the idea, though. I like the idea. It was the right time. Winger was up, but he just didn't quite execute it. I'm sure he will. What an opportunity again for the Kiwis. All set 35 metres out. Yeah, you're right. Man. You, they'll hit a spot. They'll fall straight into their standard shapes. So drilled, so detailed in what they're doing at the moment. Tarpani. The tackle by Leilua. He's holding him up a touch. Putting him on his back. Here's Hughes. That's a little inside ball to Liotta, but he didn't have a full head of steam up that time. Horan. He's again right to the line. Brown. Good tackle on Dylan Brown that time. A touch and decisive perhaps there. Luki hammered him. Good hands by Papali'i. That's a good carry right there from Isaiah Papali'i. Really opens up. The right edge attack here. Kamoko at dummy half. Now Foran. Here comes James Fisher Harris. That tackle needed to be made. Last play now for the Kiwis. Here's Brown. Couldn't quite link up with Tomoko. And he's lost it forward, I think, on the second attempt there, Matt Tomoko. Oh, big call there from Jared Sutton. It's going to be a New Zealand scrum feed. Okay, G. Okay. We got a captain's challenge. Got it ruled a double lock on. First one against Samoa. Let's see if we can pick this up here. Just looking for perspective on which way the ball travels off Matt Tomoko. Sorry, I just, I just got to listen These to ones are 50-50. They are, aren't they? Yeah, on another day, that would have been a knock-on for Matt Tomoko. So often it can be. I view it as a knock-back, but mm. so often you see these called knock-ons, so... Ball goes backwards at this point off Matt Timiko. Yeah, that's what I ruled, but they're just looking at mate because they've challenged it, so. Gee whiz, that's a 50-50 call, whatever way it's going here. Let's come off the knee there of Tomoko, hasn't it? Has Tomoko touched that ball first? He has. He's just put his hand on the ball though, hasn't he? Can that be a knock-on? Matt Tomoko gets that's, a hand to it first here and knocks it on prior okay. to Stephen Crichton. Okay. That's why we're not on the bunker. Challenge successful. Yeah, but, okay. You know, I've sat at home and watched this part of commentary Stephen happen, does. and so often I've been like, what are you guys uh, looking at? So guys. I'm glad Smart, that we were looking at the same thing just then and got the same out. 10 by 10. Shouldn't really make predictions No, good challenge by Samoa though. It was. Yeah, yeah. And one, one that they actually needed under a lot of pressure, made a lot of tackles, so... You know what's funny about these sort of challenges too, I must say? My first instinct was that it was a Kiwis knock-on, and it often... <laughs> amazing how often it is, right, right, right. you know? Kieran off the arm! Hold! Go one, shortens. So that was a run there from Marju again. <laughs> oh! He's tough. He's tough. He's as tough as a $2 stake, that lad. Here's Utoi Kamanu. Over the 30 he goes. Wait to him for, waiting for him to really explode into the game too, aren't we? Let's play from Crichton back on the inside. That's Luki. 38 games in the NRA, played 13 times for the Cowboys this season. Now Spencer Lenu. <laughs> Great player. Love watching him play. Of course, he's on the move to the Roosters next year. Here's a set restart now for Samoa. Just what they were needing. So Gordon Chang. Kung Tong it is, the hooker for Samoa. Got a couple of games in the NRL this year for the Sea Eagles. Now here's Luciano Lelua. Good close contact meters on Moses Liotta that time. At the 20 minute mark, just one try in the game so far by Jermaine Isaako, which was converted as well. Now here's Junior Paolo. Now the Samoan crowd will start to get excited. Still two tackles left in the set as well. Utoi Kamanu, here's Asi again. 
Ooh, bit of space there, might have given it to Leilua. Joseph Kuro, Marcus Square. Oh, go Still a chance at the line by Leniu. Well, that tackle needed to be made. He's right there. Last play now for Samoa. How can they cook up here? Kreitz kick's got to be accurate. Oh, pinching it beautifully there was Matt Tamoko. And look out. Here he goes, Matt Tamoko. Beautiful pass. Away goes Isako. Great tackle from Faolongo. What a chase back by the fullback. What a play. What a play. Find a pass, get out of your own end. Yeah, Matt Tamoko take a bow. Here's Manu. An outstanding broken play runner, of course, Joey Manu. Someone give him a new shirt. Here's Foran. He's still got the offload away. Brilliant play by the Kiwis. Yes. Get the ball, man. Joey Manu, come on. Score a try with no shirt. Five metres out. It's Foran. Hughes. That's Nicole Cookstar. To set restart somewhere in there as well. Oh, superb hands. He's a huckle the Brunner well not to knock it on there. Clear it there in the middle of the Go two. Yes, the Kiwis still setting it up. The auto got to stay focused here. I like the commentary, of course. Here's four in. Now it's back to Tuppany. The offload is at Jim Jerome Hughes. Oh, yes, he's got it down right there. Outstanding finish for Jerome Hughes and the Kiwis. It all started down the other end of the field. What could have been Joey Manu? Come on! <laughs> Fire those guns, Joey. Come on. My wife's somewhere around here. I think she's not. <laughs> you saying on her seat or what? <laughs> what a play from Tomoko, though. And that was just, you know, you give him. Just five metres of space, he can totally damage you. And we saw it right there, didn't we? Yes, he can. He's so powerful in his hips. But probably the most impressive part, the vision, the brains, high percentage pass. Find a bit of space and get your team on the front foot. This is exactly Jerome's game, though. He sniffs around the ball. Such a strong ball runner. Great offload by Joey Tarpany. He does well to finish and get it down. He does, doesn't he? He had a bit of work to do there, Jerome Hughes. That's a sixth try for the Kiwis in his eighth test. Thinking about everything that leads up to that moment yeah, under the sticks there. You go right back, that tackle, that chance Nickel Cox that made on Smith and the New, right under the post, one on one. Massive play, massive play, and then you get, these are the rewards you get. So I'm pretty sure all the boys will be walking back, giving Chance a big pat on the back there. I was a bit worried, one of the best plays yeah, for the Warriors right, is here right, when, when you guys went down in Golden Point against Tom the Raiders. You got to, you know, Fogarty just overcooked his kick, just a fraction. Took the, you know, the catch was taken the end goal, down seven tackle yeah, set, yeah. You, got, you converted the field goal, right? Yeah, and in that set, funny enough, Chance has two carries, you know, and we're not, we're not necessarily walking back on Sean Gray kick, we're walking back on, that's on you, you know what I mean? So those are the plays that your teammates value. There's this half ball from pretty much in front. It's 12 points to nil, that's hard on Samoa, but it's about taking your opportunities in this sport. It is, it's going to be really interesting to see how Samoa uh, responds here because they, they had the running of the play just then. They were very unlucky. Some individual brilliance is what saved, uh, saved the Kiwis there. So hopefully they can get back straight into their process, straight back on task and uh, yeah, get over this trial. Oh, there are some Kiwi fans here. Are there? There are. Okay. We just saw a few right there. <laughs> And no change to the starting 13 either for the Kiwis so far. Yep, they're enjoying themselves here at Eden Park. Beautiful day as well. 12 points to nil. Tries in the game to Issa Akko and Jerome Hughes. On it, Greg. Kick. 16 minutes to play. Until half time. Here comes Liotta. Look out. Up in square, Junior Spencer. I've never understood how people can stand in front of someone that runs that hard. Doesn't make sense. Still doesn't. It's amazing how 
effect of those tackles are these days, though. Here's Foran. Now here's James Fisher Harris. Hit hard again, but he doesn't get driven back too often. Does James Fisher Harris? Here's Nicole Pitstar with the next carry. Kiwi's completing at 73%. Someone at team actually 78. Now Kiwi's looking good here. He's a call again. One to beat. Jemaine Sarko. Has he got it down? He has. It's another try. Brilliantly finished by Jemaine Sarko. And again, an excellent move out on the right edge. It's 16 to nil. It's the same set they've run every time from a set restart. They roll, they get to their point. Instead of taking a hit up this time, Fisher Harris plays out the back because they see Tuolangi off the end of the line. They execute, they pull him up, draw him past, and this is the result on the back of it. I'm pretty sure Jerome would have been blowing up there, but hey, uh, it's a try nonetheless and a great finish. I just got there, Isako for his second. He's got a double in his return to the Kiwis jumper. Great play from Nikora and Manu just brilliant there you go they went there with Manu earlier you go there more times than not he's going to come up the right play and he did in, the, in this instance and he just got it down to Issa Apo and the Kiwi fans love it and rightly so 16 to nil try confirmed 26 minutes played seems a little tough on some or they don't certainly feel like the in inferior team by 16 points sure do they no it's, it's it's an interesting one the intent the physicality has been there it's just been more the the execution at the back end of sets in particular i think you know the kiwis at the moment they're just pulling the right string at the right time and they're seeing what the Samoan defense is doing really clearly and in that instance you see a winger drop back so far it's hard not to go there so they do, everyone's on the same page, everyone's in their correct lanes and they execute at a high level and they get rewarded. But yeah, let's hope Samoa can bounce back from this because they probably deserve, um, they, do, they definitely deserve for the scoreboard to be a little closer than what it is. And far longer to pretty well there to come back and almost stop the try. A very similar position to his first kick. Test for Jermaine Isaaku. Three converted tries to the Kiwis. 18 points to nil. There's some pretty powerful players on the bench too for the Kiwis in this game. Nelson Asa for Solomon awaiting, of course, Griffin Neem waiting for his debut. Same with Leo Thompson. Again, set restart. We'll see the exact same set pulled out from the Kiwis. They know exactly what they're doing. It's just what option they want to pull in the middle of it. So we'll see how they go. It's great restart to play. And do all the players know, Sean, as we see the first tackle? Do they know what's coming on the fourth tackle? 100%. So usually, uh, depending where this first play the ball is, an OB will roll around. If it's, if it's not so tight, then your middles take it. This one here, again, middle will take it. Usually it's Fisher-Harris, might tip onto a back row as a bit of a variation, and then you're looking to blast back through the middle. But any time you get sort of Joey Manu and Chancellor Kukoksa hanging around the middle, their overcall is what gets the ball. And then they go sniffing against the grain for a good run. So Manu now wearing 20 after the, his previous shirt was destroyed. Here goes Fisher-Harris. So now here comes this fifth tackle play. Away goes four, and he's going to take a little dab from dummy half. He's been really good to start this game. Yeah, playing out of position, dealing with the big pack of Samoa, delivering the ball really nice to his halves. He's playing it nice and simple, isn't he? Kalangi takes the ball. Good chase by Britain, the Cora. Again, Samoa gets some rare possession. And it's again at the wrong end of the football field. Go to that's a big tackle right there on Tommy Talau again. Let up, Moses! Go three. Samoa have made almost 30 more tackles than New Zealand in this game. Fair so possession two. heavily weighted in favour of the Kiwis. Yeah, and you notice Go it with four. the line speed, the difference in line speed between the two groups at the moment. Kiwis able to get off their line together, bang together, and 
It's Go. told through that Plus. position stat. Inside 40. Marcy inside the 40, Go. going for maximum Inside distance. Ball. It's a good kicker with the football, isn't he? Rajon Marcy. And if he puts over the variation, using Willie Tully. Oh, he's lost it. Oh, illegally, though, it's going to be a penalty. He's down to well, they're all aside from the kick. In line with him. Interesting call here by Jared Sutton. Yeah, it's in line with where he becomes involved. They're, they're, they're downtown, mate. They're, they're, Isn't there 10 minutes? Yeah. No, no, so with this downtown rule, you've got to give it's 10. It's downtown, so it doesn't matter how far he runs. If you get involved and they're negatively affected, downtown. you're downtown. Everyone was downtown yeah, other yeah, than yeah, the yeah, kick. You can challenge, challenge. Like you can challenge, but the 10 metres doesn't matter. So the the challenge is over. That's what it is, boys. It's downtown. How do you get downtown then? Because you go past the playable, mate. I can't explain it anymore to you, Junior. That's the rule, mate. Doesn't matter the 10 metres if you've gone downtown. Mate, that's, that's it. I can't exp I'll explain it to you at half time, but I can't do it any better right now. I want to know now. Can online. you tell us now? <laughs> I'm, with, I'm with Junior on that. Like, I. My understanding of the rule, and I'm not the rule book, so oh. you've got to go with the ref in this instance. But yeah, you give them 10 metres, should be play on. So Fisher Harris. Because not only did the Samoan team concede the penalty, but they lost 40 metres back up field as well. I'll tell you what, Come if Justin Morgan's watching this game, he'd know the answer to this question. Oh, and I don't doubt that at all. He is your footy book of knowledge. Don't doubt that at all. Here is Joseph Tafani again. Release now, Luciano! and continues at dummy half. It really is a masterstroke selection, isn't it? Four hands that time. And Tamuka did get a hand on the ball that time. Tough pass for him to take. And for once, the Kiwis don't execute well. Yeah, probably the first time this evening that they've executed, got that little bit wrong. Tough, tough pass for Tamuka to take there, you know. To, uh, Dill Brown probably got a little bit lazy on his pass. This sort of stage into the game, what are we, 30 minutes in? Haven't played for a few weeks. This is where you start to really feel things. So I'm uh, not surprised, but I know, um, you know, Dill Brown definitely probably come off that left foot next time he gets the ball on that edge. How hard is it to come off the high of, a, of an NRL season and then not play for three weeks? And your next game is an international game. Yeah, it's, it's challenging, and that's what you've got to be committed to do and be prepared to do, you know, when you put your hand up for these games. Because I'm pretty sure I saw a few of these boys in Bali not so long ago, you know what I mean? And then they've got to flip that mind switch and get straight back onto, you know, I guess an elite game mode. There's no other option, is it? Really, then you get into it. And Palacia is out there wearing 13 now. Broncos player, Aleilua, has been quiet in the game. He will look after by Nikora and also Joe Imanu. Here's a little short side attack this time by Samoa. Oh. And the Kiwi defence has been right on point in this game as well. And the hills, here goes Mayus out there too. Ooh, did that look forward? That one far longer looking to create something. Leilua on the last play. Forward pass. Forward pass. Uh, the second pass, pass Jared Sutton. I mean, looking dangerous though. Every time they want to sort of chance their arm, it's 50-50 and Execute that pass there, there are a chance of finishing in the corner. So that brand of footy is what's going to actually challenge the Kiwis defence. So they've got to keep that up, keep playing with over the ad line at that high intense level. Well, Leo Thompson is out there now. Newcastle Knights player. Led the hucker. Yeah, here he is straight into it. Up together, Marcus. Crowd for his Fano and Iwi out in Gisborne. Here's Nelson Asafa Solomona. It's bigger and stronger every year, I swear it. Does Nelson. Here's Hughes back on the inside ball to Britton Nakora. Kiwi starting to find some metres out wide in this game now. And the ruck speed is good too. Here's Asafa Solomona carrying again in this, in this set. Down to the 10 metre line he goes. Last play now for the Kiwis. Four and all oh, Fisher Harris. Drops the ball. Disappointed with that, James Fisher Harris, the captain. Yeah, interesting that they went to the skip on last play. Obviously, they might, must have seen something from behind the ruck there, but um, usually, yeah, you would see your heart put your hands on the ball. Greg Marshall with the ball. Remember, no Brian to all today, or Isaac Tango. Finish rates down a little for both teams so far in this game. Murray Talangi. 
Those run meters a massive difference there for New Zealand. And post contact meters as well. So all the stats favoring the Kiwis, including the most important of all, the scoreboard. With three converted tries. Oh, here is Palacio once again. Last tackle, Marcus Square Jones. Oh, mate. Go last. Yes, Brighton with the kick on the last play. Outside. Good. Marju, but Willie Tuller has been safe as a house. Got a high ball in the game. Yeah, it's the strength of his game and a big reason why he's selected is his, his ability to get up for the footy, both, both with the on attack and defence, is pretty special. He's a great all round winger for sure. And now here's Nicole Kutstar. Now Lua tried to cut him in half. Missed. I might look to go there now. That's Lua coming in off his edge. There's Thompson with his second carry. Good run. He must have lost nothing since he's come onto the field. Now Dylan Brown. Brown has had a little dab. That was exciting. Almost got through there with Papaliki in support. Now Hughes. Looking over for Jermaine Isaapo again. It's a good kick. And Murray Taolangi's got it. Fortunately for Taolangi and Samoa, we haven't really seen Taolangi given an opportunity on attack at all in the game. No, he's had to sort of come up with some big defensive reads and work his way out of his backfield. But again, most wingers these days, they're accustomed to that. So um, I'm sure we'll see him get his opportunity soon. Far long or. And another really good set from the Kiwis. They're asking questions. Adline too. Not giving some uh, someone defence a break, you know, always constantly putting pressure on them just by making them feel that physical presence of coming over ad line at them straight away, straight away, straight away. And the kicks have been good on the last tackle place too, generally in the corners, which is where you want to put it. That's exactly right. Jerome's doing a great job at controlling where he's handing the footy over at the moment. Inside 40. It's Dejan Arce. Michael Cookstar. It's his 10th carry, and he's run for 90 metres already. Pretty standard these days for Charles Nicol Crookstar. Oh. Brown at dummy half. Now Mulitalo. Look out when he gets in the clear. Hard man to stop. Arsa for Solomona. There's the late offload. Beautifully counted by Joey Manu. There's Nikora. Nikora. Almost getting through that tackle. That's Taylor May for Britain to quarter that play. Four and again, delivering beautifully for Manu. Got to watch Joe Manu, don't want to get those arms free. Tough run there from Joey Manu. Four and back to Asifa Solomona. Huge short ball this time to yeah, Britain to quarter again. So last play now for the Kiwis. One more. They love one more just before half time. Hughes with the kick. It's well weighted. And Falongo. Well, he was playing in a cage there and he couldn't get out. It's exactly, exactly what the Kiwis needed. You see the Samoan boys just hands on hips, feeling the pinch at the moment. You know, they've had to make a lot of tackles. And this is going to be a really big set for them defensively. Kiwis are looking sharp though, man. Like, their ability not just to hit a spot and fall into shape. Play what's in front of them at the same time. Joey Manu just stepping up, getting the ball one off the ruck. Weaving, 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 asking constant questions. Well, there's another mistake from Stephen Crichton. Short kickoffs. Sean, you executed a number of them this season. Yeah, I did, but I also got a number of them wrong, just <laughs> like that, just like that. So uh, I know how it works, but to be honest, like these aren't the worst penalties to give away. You know what I mean? Like the, the risk versus reward in this instance when you've made so many tackles, it's worth going for it. You know, it's worth going for it. So also means if you get it wrong or you lose the ball, you're backing your defense to keep the other team out. That's right. That's right. In the middle, mate. Right, Well, Ronald Voltman is out there. Congratulations to him. This is his debut in international football. The Warriors half. Awesome to see him get an opportunity. Yeah, really excited to see young Ronnie get a get a chance here. He, he's been so good all year. He's, he's a really, really, I guess, intelligent like player for his age. Always asking questions, sees the game really clearly. So excited to see him go around today. So he's wearing 19 in this game now. Thompson. Thompson's there. Hang on. 
Might be an obstruction there on Leo Thompson. No try. Looking at the run of Nelson Osaka Salamana, but he causes an obstruction. We'll see, mate, but I, I didn't like his run. Right. And the next bit, mate, and the next bit. Having another look at it. Nelson runs to the outside shoulder of Hill and Lukey. They then play through this space, and Nelson is now also impacting defenders for a potential held up. We have a decision. Yeah, so don't try the ruling. Is going to be an obstruction, mate? Well, Thompson because not getting Nelson over the line. The well, getting over the line, but not getting the try. Would have some or hold up issue. The two to play until half time. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Uh, but what's he expected to do in that instance? Yes. It's it's always going to be someone's outside shoulder if it's another player's inside shoulder, right? So look at the size of me. He's done well to squeeze through that gap as well. So although in saying that Samoa needed it. I think the injection of Ronnie Volkman too, oh, you'll see the Samoan kicking game sort of go up the level. He's a really good striker with the footy. Uh, knows where to put the ball, so let's watch him get into his work. City for Samoa. Brighton at Dummy Hart. Run for Luki on that occasion. Fowler. Oh, Samoa want to play some football. Good on them too. They need something out of this first half. With 90 seconds to play. Still three. He's made. Rooster's prop. He's on the Kiwis 40 now. Bokman and two dummy half, Balor. Right, good hands from him. Now Luki again. Last play now for Samoa. Arcee doing the kicking again. Who's missed time that one, has he? Yes, he has. Maybe he was going for the post there. Low percentage play. I'm not sure. I, I just think maybe he got his drop a little wrong. When you get your drop wrong, it qu quite often leads pass, to the poor outcome. But he's been kicking the ball pretty well today, so I'm sure he'll be able to move on from that fairly quick. 60 seconds to play until half time. It's been a very impressive 40 minutes from the Kiwis. Not only with the ball in their execution, but defensively as well. And they've been super solid. They've only missed four tackles in the first half. That's what when you when you're controlling the footy and you're handing the ball over in the right spots, it takes the sting out of you know your position. So all of a sudden these individual players can no longer sort of have the energy to beat your one-on-one, -on -one, you know, and you're seeing that with uh, what's, what's sort of gone on the back end of this first half. Nickel Cook start at dummy half. Oh, they get it wrong there. The timing of the pass from Nelson Arthur to Solomona. You can see what they were trying to do there, Sean. You can, you can obviously come into the back end back into the first half but if I'm if I'm trying or deal around I'm saying you just run maybe I'll get off the back of that you'll play the ball is probably your biggest weapon for us shot clock's running boys got Crichton at lock Crichton's got to be the lock right, form up boys well we have five seconds to play we one tackle all in Jerome Jerome back with him mate uh, heads in, all the way in there, chance. Time off, go. One last play here for Samoa. Outside. Oh, bounce is going to be critical here, Mashu. Oh, my, was a far longer, it was far longer. Well, the miracle play, almost. But that's going to do it for the first half. Oh, it was almost brilliantly done by far longer. <laughs> Just getting it wrong there, but there. Fine margins in the sport again. So there it is, half time here. Beautifully executed tries to Issa Akul with two tries. And also Jerome Hughes, it's 18 points to nil. <laughs> Second half underway, and it's Stephen Crichton to restart play with New Zealand leading 18 points to nil. Remember, if New Zealand win this game, they'll be Jerome, off to the final at Hamilton in two weeks swear. against Australia. They play next week. So it'll be back to back games against the Kangaroos. Of course, that's the ultimate test, really. 
for any Kiwis player. Yeah, that's where you want to be when you're playing in these internationals. You want to be playing against the best of the best. And like today, like next week, these are what these little tournaments are designed to do. So, yeah, if you want to win it all, you've got to beat the best. Exactly. Here's Thompson. And for him. Fisher Harris. For a bit of shape on this right flank this time. You know, Manu running at defenders again. Hughes back to Foran. That's a roll he's not accustomed, uh, unaccustomed to. As Brown was a bit wider of the ruck that time. Yeah, interesting start to the first, uh, second half of the Kiwis. A lot different to what they put out for that first 40. They've shifted and then shifted again inside the very first set. So maybe that was something they spoke about at half time. Nicely taken by Murray Tolangi. He has made some big plays for his team in this game so far. Mainly on defence. It was an excellent take. Kieran, yeah, much Kieran. like Tuolangi, Tuolangi, so accustomed to being comfortable in the air in those positions and does such a great uh, job for a side during the season. Done it again just then. He's a real pro, isn't he? He's a state of origin player, of course, as Fa'alongo pinches 10 metres. Yeah, Fa'alongo has looked dangerous every time he's got in there, looking for a scoop, looking for work, which is probably the most impressive thing about his game at the moment. Yeah, it's good to see smaller fullbacks. We've seen Tuo Piki make some good strides this season. Kenny, of course, for the Titans. We saw in the first game today, he's a weapon. Not a big man either. That's Ako almost overrunning that one. Surrender! It's a pretty good catch in the He's end, that one. Junior. Yeah, he did well to readjust himself. I think he made, maybe lost that. Found himself late. Took the ball. A good start bouncing out of the tackle of Junior Paolo. Helo, clear it! Oh! Yuki with the other tackler. And Hughes. He's taking a little dab out of dummy half. Almost busting through. That's just Taylor made for Hughes. Now, did he injure himself Helo right there? Go three. Looks okay. Keep an eye on him. Beautiful little offload there from Manu. Heads away now. Manu caught up right on the halfway line. Hughes again. Running off whatever happened to him. Nelson Arsa for Solomon. Corin on the last play. Outside. Goes to kick from Hughes. That's a good kick. Far long a brilliant catch from him. He's got those dancing shoes on. He he is special, man. The glimpses we've seen of him today. Oh no, did I just put the commentator's curse on him? You did, mate. It's something that you oh, Don't worry, I'm sorry, mate. My bro. Don't worry. I'm Don't so worry, Sean. I've been there many times. And that's just today as well. I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> James Fisher Harris loves I love that one. But going back to Final Longer, he is he's going to be something really special. The glimpses we have seen of him, explosive footwork, looking for the work as well, is probably the most impressive part of his game. So really excited to see what he can do. Oh, you know, the talent ID at fullback down at Melbourne is amazing, isn't it? You know, Billy Slater moves out, Munster comes in, Munster moves out, then comes Pappenhausen. Then met Nico Hines, of course. He was a good fullback too. Uh, far longer to take over from. I don't know, Pappenhausen when he moves on somewhere. Something in the water. Incredible. Well, let's see if the Samoan team can defend this. They're going to really need to. They want any chance of winning this game. Kiwis. We want to execute another play here as Foran with a runaround play to Dylan Brown. To Moko. Tackled well by Maju. Good to see those two clashing. Fireworks coming off both of them. As we see Nelson, Asa for Solomona. Just short as here as he scored. <laughs> Can you hear the Kiwis like it? They think he's got it. Can you hear Boz through your tellies at home? Here and Foran pleading to the refs. He got it. He got it. And if I know Foran, he is not a quiver. So he must have seen something here. Unless he's just pulling the wool over his eyes, but he has seen something, I've got a feeling. This is just tailor-made Nelson Asafa Solomona. A little short, but he hasn't that, promoted. That's on the line, that's isn't on it? on the line. And that's not a double movement. The ball is on the ground at this point. We're just checking it's on the goal line. And from this angle, it's on the line. We have a decision. Big Nelson gets the try. I remember the other try scored in a Kiwi's jump, or one of them anyway, back in his first test. 
in the 2017 World Cup where he kind of reached out with a big selfie stick to slam it down. And it wasn't too dissimilar to that one, Sean. No, it wasn't. That's his game. Big Mousy ad line, squeeze you right up. Just the size, so hard to stop from there. I reckon Cameron Foran, he might be having a gig at the bunker post post footy career. He <laughs> saw that before anyone else did, and he called it too. So, uh, uh, Jermaine, just out about a meter, mate. Sorry, thank you. Not start from the Kiwis though to start the second forty. It's just what you want. Michael Maguire wanted the continuation. Right, Sean, he didn't want any slackening off at all. Yeah, well, wherever Madge is sitting somewhere up here close to us, I'm pretty sure he'd be smiling. Get that four Samoan yeah, players couldn't stop. Nelson Asa for Solomona. So that's his third try in a Kiwi's jumper. In his 13th test debut back at that World Cup in 2017 against Samoa. That not smart. There's Issa Aku. Not going to miss from that range. 24 points to nil. It's the Kiwis in command now. With the start of the second 40, interesting to see how the Kiwis have gone about their work. It's so easy to come out after half time when you've really laid the blueprint for a good 80 minute performance. You can sort of slowly build the second half. So, I mean, just take sort of your easiest path. You roll up the field, little support focus on a good kick. But their very first set, they came out and set their intent nice and early about they wanted to move the footy, they wanted to challenge the Samoan edges defensively. Yeah, had Dylan Brown taking the line on the first set. So it just sets the tone. You can see the way they're moving, the way they're responding to each other. Getting rewarded with six points. Of course, this is creating, slowly creating more and more uncertainty in that defensive line in the Samoan team as well. It does. It just makes you think, OK, there's another dynamic coming at us. It's not just what we think's coming. You've got to be alert right across the park. Edges have got to be so connected. You can't have any step backs, not switching off for one second. Otherwise, this Kiwi team at the moment, they'll find you. Thompson. There's Isaiah Tapali'i. Good ruck speed for New Zealand here from Isaiah Tapali'i. There's Matomoko. Just incredible strength that he has, Matomoko. There's Brown running onto it beautifully. Good pass from Foran. And Brown challenging the defence again. Foran on the last play. So Hughes switches it back on the short side. Interesting tactic. Farlongo's not got on. Still there for the Kiwis. Oh, what an offload. Thompson. Oh, that's not rugby league. That's pinball right there. And we'll see if Jared Sutton can sort that out. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. I'm not too sure what was going on in there. But again, exciting, exciting play by the Kiwis. Dylan Brown just getting the ball over the ad line, coming off his right foot. His running game really exposing the Samoan gap at the moment. So, if he continues to do that, Kiwis are going to be in a really good spot. James Fisher Harris, very happy man. Dylan Brown, a couple of big plays from him. Look at those run meters difference now, and it's growing. It's over 400 meters now. Post contact as well. Seriously. In the Kiwis' hey, favour there too. Hey, what a spot to set a scrum. Ten metres out. Full set. And here's Brown again, creating havoc again. Close to the line goes Dylan Brown. Yeah, fair to say he's feeling himself. He's feeling really good at the moment. Six more. Slow. Yeah, too slow on the play. The ball. Four in. Well, he wastes a tackle, but shouldn't have too much of a problem for the Kiwis. On this set. Brown into dummy half. Hughes, so good at creating space there. Interesting kick. Papali'i. There's another try for the Kiwis. Great vision again from Jerome Hughes to set up the Iceman. It is 28 points to nil. Yeah, this is silky, Glenn. They can't get, again, the edge gets up, gets up, and what does Drone do? Surveys his options, holds the footy, pumps the footy, makes the defence think twice, makes them sit still on their heels, and comes up with the right option with a perfect pinpoint kick. He's been so good tonight, Drone. Like, outstanding. It has, the, way, the way he's just got the boys around the park, put the ball in the right spot when he's needed to, it's sort of 
maybe hasn't been the highlight player like you're seeing the Dylan Brown at the moment, Joey Manu coming up with the right plays. He's in the middle of all of that, just pushing the boys around and then putting the ball on the plate for us. Score a try. Isaiah uh, Papali'i scores another try for the Qs. It's just a second in his eighth test. But uh, he's had a pretty solid season and a tough, tough season, of course, moving to the Tigers. Good finish. That's a very good finish. But I love the play from Hughes there. You know, it takes a bit of courage to pull a little kick through like that on a second tackle, Sean. That's it. Early in the set. Again, risk first reward. And when, I guess when you're playing with that sort of confidence and you know your teammates are on that same level with you, it's easier to commit to something like that, knowing that they're going to have your back by the way. And I just thought he held the ball and probably most importantly pumped it a couple of times. You know, it just makes that defence sit, sit down on their heels and then you just bring your boys onto the footy with a nice kick. this game started even it was for the first 15 20 minutes take a brave man to pick that score one right now 28 points to nil That's an equal four from four so far Is unconverted, 28 points to nil. Yeah, while that kick was happening, you notice the Kiwis are so bold in with what they're doing. They, they just got into a group, went through their breath through it, locked down on their next roll. The same message would be getting delivered as the first try they scored, the second try they scored, the third try they scored. The consistency in what they're doing is so impressive. That is the most impressive sign of the day so far. Up the SARS. Up the SARS, love it. Our escort, sir, Britain. It's been a tough game for them as we see Royce Hunt come onto the field now, number 18 for Samoa. Yeah, he looks like he could hurt someone. He's a big human, isn't he? And the kick not going 10, so it's going to be Kiwi's ball on the halfway. And when you start chasing the game, it gets frustrating, I guess, doesn't it, Sean? Yeah, you sort of look for ways to get the footy back. You know, you sort of feel like you've been starved to the footy. And if you can come up with a short kickoff and get the result, then happy days. But this is what happens if you don't. Now the Kiwis go down, put the ball out, get straight into a good ball set. Yeah. Well, again, more defence coming up for Samoa. And of course, we've seen the Kiwis in a, in a right royal mood in this game. And it's showing no signs of slowing. We're diminishing as we see Manu again in tight this time. Great variety to the attack early in the set by the Kiwis. For it. And now James Fisher Harris. Great tackle that time. Coming in from Lukey. Issues. There he goes again, putting the foot down. Four in. There's Nelson Officer for Monor again. Here's four in. Now Brown. Lasley holding the tackle there on the last play for the Kiwis now. All eyes on Jerome Hughes. Kick has waited beautifully again. And he's got himself into a pretty decent position there, Lukey. And he goes far longer. Yeah, really good set defensively for Samoa there. Kept turning up for one another. Royce Hunt with a bit of intent on Nelson. Earlier in the set, set the tone for him. So, look to see him ruck it out, get a good kick away. Marju almost busts through. That's a typical Greg Marju run right there. Here's Leilua. That hard by James Fisher-Harris. Good tackle by the Kiwis captain. That's his 21st tackle in the game. Now here comes Alessia, the Brisbane Broncos player. There goes the kick for Dejan Asi again. Willie Taylor almost tackled without the ball there. That's who was bouncing. That was Isa Ako. And now here goes Jerome Hughes. There goes Hughes, get the up three, and Nicol Krista is in the clear. Good tackle by Farlonga, but the Kiwi's got a big chance here to move forward. Beautifully scooped up by Joey Manu. 
Knighton did well to readjust and get back on defense that time. Slow play the ball. Here's Griffin Neem on debut for the Kiwis. A West Coaster. Congratulations to him and his family. Now Leo Thompson, who's also on debut, of course. Thompson gets those big legs pumping. Five meters out. Four in. Hughes with the kick. Nicely gathered there by Ronnie Volkman. And he goes far long. There's an opportunity there to go short side on last play. I think Foran had a look at it. But again, when your halfback's calling for the ball, it's pretty hard to ignore him. So another good set defensively by uh, Samoa, though. There's Murray Tawangi. It's a good carry. Yeah, it'd be nice if maybe Dejan could get a, a kick away early here. You know, just something a little different. But just to put the pressure back on uh, the Kiwis. Great hands from Royce Hunt. And then you've got Kieran Foran in the bouncy castle. Now here comes May once more. Crichton. Not much space there for Stephen Crichton. Last tackle. Oh, Royce Hunt. Up square. Hold. Go, last. Now, here's the last play from Crichton. There's another kick out on the full net. Kicking game has been a big difference between the two teams as it's transpiring and going on soon. Yeah, it's probably left uh, the small boys a little short today. I think, you know, I'd love to see Ronald Bolton get out there for one off the ruck. We all know how good of a striker he is. Traditional halfback, and I just think put his nous in there, give him rain on it, and I think he'll come up with the right option. Royce Hunt. Those never look good on the replay, do they, Sean? Oh, I've been there plenty of times. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to get on the train sometimes and have a ride, right? I like to I like to call it more a speed bump so the other boys can come and take the sting out of the carry for them, get trampled on, but then your teammates can come in and clean up. Here's Neem. Here for Neem, the 22-year-old, plays for the Cowboys. Go one. Nice to make him his Kiwis debut last year too. Now Britain the quarter. Six more. Slow. Set restart coming here for the Kiwis. Just what the Samoan team didn't need. At this end of the footy field. Foran. Neem uses a decoy. That's Brown. Now to Mukul. Good tackle on Matt to Mukul. That's a beauty. Needed to be made. Really good job by Stephen Crichton. Now Foran. Foran having a little dab winding back the clock. Hands away now to Brown. Brown. Use again. Two tackles left in the set. Release. Closure from the Kiwis during this game has been excellent. As we see Foran, give it to Neem again. The little short ball to Thompson. Yeah. He's lost that one. Yeah, unlucky with the outcome, but really good variation. Really good variation from the middles there. With Thompson, with Thompson on a little sort of fade line, Strong expecting voice. that someone right edge to come up past the ball like they have all night. Don't get, don't quite get the result, but I like the thought process. Front foot on the line first, Dylan. Nelson Nelson for has been fantastic. Off the interchange, 11 carries, 112 metres, 12 tackles as well. It's been a menacing form. Great uh, footy here in Auckland. I hope you've been enjoying it right through the day. Well under that New Zealand A team that beat Tonga A earlier today. By 36 points to 26. And we saw the Kiwi Ferns beat Tonga. Uh, 28 points to 10. That's a good kick. Made 50 metres this year. Not a ball for baby. Yeah. Now let's see if that fires up Samoa. They know it looks interested more so than perhaps earlier in the game. No oh, tummy half there. Palau, but slow to get there. Terrell May. Fast play the ball. Lelua again. Lelua might just have a crack himself. Now the Samoan supporters getting excited. 
They need something out of this game right here. Asu back on the inside comes Hunt. They haven't seen the Kiwis on their goal line for some time in the game. There's Bokman. Here's a go. Good try for Samoa. Talau's over. But the bank is going to review it. Just awarded to the crowd. Give the crowd what they want. Those plays are always up for debate, aren't they, Shun? The ball is caught, caught clearly on the inside of the lead runner. He then goes beyond the point of the lead runner and around him. And they take their advantage. We have a decision. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a try for Samoa. Yeah, that's unlucky, but the right call. It is the right call, but I think Royce Hunt's added something in the middle for this moment, was that the ruck speed has just changed. His ability to find a shoulder, get down, play the ball. That's that's pretty much why that play was out of sync, because actually the play the ball before it was too fast for him to get and get organised and get in shape. So um, more of that, more of that, and they'll find one. Well, right, Talal would have been over for his try in, a, in his debut match, not to be though. Really good to see the intent though from the Kiwis defensively. Obviously they've. Not had to make as many tackles, so you'd like to see exactly what we just saw. You know, them getting off the line, shoulder to shoulder, winning that collision. Well, Kieran Foran, after 58 minutes, has finally been substituted. Excellent effort by Kieran Foran. So far, Manu Brown is out there. I don't know if I'm biased, but yeah, I think he's definitely one of the Kiwis best today. He's thrown in the deep end, and the way he's handled himself, delivered the footy. Yeah, pretty special. New Brown from Christchurch originally. Here he is, Kieran Foran. He's a war horse these days, isn't he? Still going strong. He's going to link up with his old mate Des Hasler at the Titans next year. That's pretty cool. It's a dangerous combo, that, so I'm not too excited about it. <laughs> Here's Neem. Last tackle. Up and square. Oh, Gordon. Oh, Gordon. Slow play the ball. Samo risking a set restart right there. And now goes Hughes with the kick. Far long run to it. Great just take by the young fullback and he's almost clear again. Hold! Stand there! Hold! Hold! Go one, walked it. I see a dummy half. Here goes Greg Marju. Isaiah, oh, clear it. Nelson, front foot. Hold! Go two. Right, long wall, a dummy half. Look at flying in there, trying to make a big shot. Hold! Go three. On seven. There's Luki in making good tongue tail contact. Leo Thompson. Oh, oh, Leading tackler in the game for the Kings. Actually, James Fisher Harris with 21 tackles. It's been lost. Manu's got it. Look out, Joey. Manu's away. Trying to link up here. And is he cycle going for a hat trick? Great scrambling do by Samoa. Kiwis maybe blew that one, and now a penalty goes against Samoa. That's a tough call. What a pass by Joey Manu. How do you do that? Teach me, <laughs> please. Well, he's straight into the referee, saying it's a professional oh, foul. He should be bin for 10. Definite grounds for it, but for the sake of the game, I'm glad he didn't send anyone off. Big set for Samoa here. Release now. Thompson. Hold. Wrestling with May. Brown. There's Dylan Brown. Oh, this is looking good for the Kiwis. Lovely delay pass. And in goes Willie Talo. Denied in the first half, but not in the second. The detail which is going into the Kiwis' attack at the moment is so impressive. Obviously, you force an error with your defence, you come up with it. Some more to their credit, scramble. That pass, though. Kurosaka was in here, maybe. Did he go one, one right foot too many? I'm not too sure, but again, the effort makes him do that. 
but that ball there, just to be able to play that early good ball and Brown a little bit more time, expecting that edge to come like they have all night. Just the detail, that's the difference at the moment. Tamoko did well too, didn't he? Lured in, brought in the winger, Sean. Yeah. Any young centre out there, actually any young footy player watching the game tonight out there, ball out in two hands, you see that what that does to the winger there. Makes him think twice, he doesn't just stay out, he thinks, oh, oh, do I need it, do I need it, and get him enticed enough. Here's Ronnie Molotalo to clean onto the line. Yeah, he's a character, Ronaldo Molotalo. This guy is one of the best going around, Ronnie. One of the Can best. Playing with him? Oh, I loved it. Loved it. He was just a young fella coming through too, but the confidence he had, he gave me confidence. You know, it was like he was a season, season first grader and he was playing his third game, fourth game. So to see him on the stage that he's at now, see how he carries himself, um, yeah, it's been pretty cool to see. A wonderful try by Molitalo. His debut last year against Tonga in that return test at Mount Smart. And he's been a lock in that Kiwi's jumped us since. Thirty-two points to nil. Now if you're in the Aussie camp, the kangaroos camp, just put yourself there for a minute. Maybe that's a bad thing to put you. I mean, you don't want to put a Kiwi in Aussie camp, Sean, if you know what I mean, but what do you think they'd be thinking about watching this Kiwi's performance today? No, they'll, they'll be well aware. They'll be well aware of what the Kiwis can do there past few games that they've had have been such close contests you know you go back to the world cup it was so tight so they know it's going to be small margins next week and then the week after um but like anything everyone's got a weakness somewhere right and what we've been able to see the kiwis do to the Samoans tonight their ability just to put the ball in the right positions continue pressure put on it forces them into errors there's no there's no reason why the kiwis can't do that again to australia next week the blueprint is there for them so i'd say australia is watching knowing that they're going to be have to be at their best if they want a chance of beating them as well stay behind it well, there's still 18 minutes to play Stephen. Oh, yeah. takes the kick off and knows the 10 meters they don't get the ball back that's a 50 50 play here well executed I, I feel it's some odd, that's probably been the difference right there again. The ability just to win that scrap. It's easy for us to sit, stand here and say they needed to get that ball. But that's what they're trying to do. But that's just been the difference, you know, just the difference tonight. Papali plays it. Here goes Manu again. Parker Pai could just about play anywhere, including the front row. Still make a good fist of it. Kiwi's looking expansive out on this left. It's Tamoko looking to bust. Almost getting through. He's just a live wire, isn't he? Don't touch him, you'll electrocute yourself. Not Tamoko, no way! What an outrageous play there from Matt Tamoko. Short side, they're going to jam. Powering over Nikura. Has he got it down? He's just short still. Oh no, it's a try. But Nikura. Jared Sutton around. referee had a really good look at it. It's another try for the Kiwis. This is quite the performance from New Zealand. What right about Matthew McCook? Yeah, increase it, man. So strong, quick. That would have been try of the year, Sean. Yeah. With all due respect to all the great yeah. tries you've done, no, yeah. <laughs> that, no, that would have been, been try of the year. Great defensive pivot to scramble and stop it. And then this is Britt Nakora's line. He's built his career off at a hard outside in line. Just can't see it coming at times. Oh, is it down, though? Is it down? And the fans in the stands don't think so. And he's claiming to Britt Nakora. Try is confirmed. Brett Nakora goes over. Doesn't it feel like we've just been calling this whole second half down here for the good ball for Kiwis? And it's it's funny how fast that can happen when you're just chasing the game and you try two short drop off, uh, two short restarts, sorry, and you haven't come up with the footy. What it can do to you it puts you straight back under your post. So it'll be interesting to see if some all go long here. Um, if not, yeah, I just hope they get the ball back. Well, Kiwis three tries in the first half, four in the second now. In the quarter, you know, he's not the biggest back rower, is he, Sean? But he's got plenty of heart and tick out. Yeah, and speed. 
It's his speed which is his greatest asset. He's got more league speed than most wingers these days. So I think for the Kiwis in this huddle right now, it's almost going to become more about the zero than how many they've scored with the footy. They've come this far defensively, they've been so sound. See if they can play it out for the 80 minutes. Isaac uh, missed his last two, but he gets that one. 38 points to nil. Oh, the Samoan fans have shown up in force. Great to see again. There's the crowd of tennis, just under 24,000, just over 23,000. still enjoy themselves and hopefully we'll see Tonga back in 2024. Point restart on the ship time. They do get this back this time. Time's a charm. Look out, here comes Fahlulu. Can we just watch him go and go and go? He's a fantastic player, isn't he? There's Spencer Menu in there. We've been waiting for him to come back. What can they cook up, Arcee? That's a Royce Hunt. It's away now, Griffin. On the short side goes Arcee, they're going to switch it. Oh, caught in possession that time. Goes Talasia. Chang Kung Kong is back out there too for Samoa. Luki with a good spin. Last play now for Samoa. And they execute on this last play. Asi, short little ball. Don't know if that was the right play. Well, let's see a smash by the Kiwis. And it's Asi for Solomon again. Just the intent that the Kiwis are tackling with right now. Just starting anything, anything that the Samoans are getting going. It's just they're just putting it to bed straight away with their contact. So it's so important that they bottle that. That's the more quick, a memorable run. So I've caught 190 metres, he's running the game now. So very close to getting a hat-trick, of course, here's Moses Liotta. He's got the good teams, both in the NRL and, of course, at international level. You get depth on the bench, Sean. You know, Moses Liotta and James Fisher Harris, Nelson Huff, Nelson Huff for Solomon. Yeah, when you can make that rotation and not lose anything, you're in a pretty good spot. Especially if you're a halfback and now to kick off the front foot order. Tarpany as well. Now here's far longer again. Oh, lovely variation that time. I could watch this dude all day. <laughs> He's brilliant, isn't Nelson, he? front foot. Go one. Now uh, let's see Moses. how Melbourne use him next year. Shot has got to get in there somewhere. Let's chuck him in at fullback. Glad I'm not the coach, man. Yeah. It's a good leg drive over the halfway line. Hands away, Griffin. Moses, here we are, mate. Kiwis have missed just 12 tackles in the game. Some are 42 now. And an all-round fierce effort from New Zealand in this game. And that is an example of that right there. Here goes New Brown into work. There's Leilua. He goes to Manly Hooker again. Chen Pung Tong is down to the 30. Kiwis have kept Samoa put relatively deep into their half as Crichton. Crichton's actually moved back into the centres now. There's only Sean. The Falkman taking more control. And there's some tackling, but... Look at quick start. He's run an obstructive line, or someone else run an obstructive line for Chance there. Yeah, I think they've pushed Crichton out to centre and, yeah, put Ronnie in at half on the right. Nelson, mate. Steven. Sit down, mate. Unlucky their chance. Oh, well, Asa for Solomon, or it was. Here we are, boys. Griffin. Griffin, hold. Toes. Hold. Silkia. Yep, go. No tackles. A little subtle shoulder charge from Nelson there. As we see Ross Hunt powering up. Go now, Leo. Hold. Go one. Samo again close. His defence has been super solid all the way through the game. 
Chan Kumtonga is playing the ball. Masia to Volkman. They're going to stay longer. They've got a three on one here. He's seven. The Kiwis hold on again, Sean. Yeah, just forcing it a little bit there. Obviously, they're so eager to sort of get over the try line that. Just forcing it a tad. But again, they're down 38, so you can't blame them. Can't blame them. But they're asking the question. They're looking better, actually, when they move the footy. They're actually creating something. Let's go, boys. Just got to execute on the end of it, but a bit of look for some more. Let's go. Murray, here we go. Tackle one. New Brown. That play right there, too, have really pleased Michael Maguire, too, as you touched on earlier. With one of the earlier tries, Sean, there comes a point where you want to keep them to zero. Yeah, and you notice, look, he throws the ball back in here, and who, who's there? You know, a Kiwi jumper. That's That's been the story of the night so far, and they want to go on for this next 10 minutes and continuing to do that. Here's the Otto. Well done from James Fisher-Harris. Most humans would have been tempted to play a little, uh, have a little play at that now. There's Nelson Asifa Solomon is sitting down with 12 carries, 121 metres and 17 tackles in 40 minutes of play, Sean. That's, a, that's impressive. Yeah, he's done his job, Big Ness. I think he uh, put the feet up and be able to look his teammates in the eye after that. Brown almost bust through. He's run for over 80 metres as well. Now Papali'i again. Brown at Dunny Hart. There's a kick from Hughes. Chasing from the corner. It's a knock on to Samoa and the quarter again typifies a wonderful Kiwi spirit in this game. Effort, effort, effort. And a little bit of that leg speed that we spoke about earlier. Yeah, there's the knock on there, wasn't it? Yeah, the last one on the ground, he drags it to him. What Just is the difference the of a downtown chase? is in this instance? James Fisher Harris is outside 10 metres at this point. The others are on, so we're playing on. So it will be a knock on against Tolangi. The initial touch is backwards from Murray. then dragged forward towards the opponent's dead ball line on the ground. The challenge is unsuccessful. It's unsuccessful. It's a knock-on, boys. What about Big Griff? Thought he was about yeah. to tow that through and pick up his, yes. a try on debut there, the big fella. That would have been amazing. <laughs> Bit of an air swing, but <laughs> hey, play on. Hey, up, up. Great attacking opportunity here for the Kiwis. about something. You've got plenty to say. It's still going too. Lenny on that far side of the scrub. Oh, what can the Kiwis cook up here? He goes Brown again. He's run for almost 100 metres, Dylan Brown. Most of them in the second half as well. Let go, Dylan. Come on, let's go. Go one. To Moko. Back to Fa'amaru Brown. Here goes Liotta. Junior, clear up. Hold. He's less than 10 outs. Here's Hughes. Short ball to Griffin Neem. Hands away now, Junior. Mark square. Oh, eight minutes to play. Can the Kiwis get another one? Untidy ball, but nicely gathered there by Nickel Quickstar. He was playing in a bit of a cul-de-sac there for a little while, Chance. Finally found the alley. Messy play by the Kiwis, but they've got another set. Six more, this will be zero. Four. Zero, flop. 
Brown jumped on the ball. Thompson, that's for Shaharis. There's a nice looking move. There's Willie Tunnel. Stand there. Brown again. He's got plenty of tackles up their sleeve. Luke Brown looking to put on a show. That's how he met Junior Tunnel. Hughes, look at start. Charles Hunting for a gap. Can't find one that time. Release your heel on. Hughes, now here's Fisher Harris. So I'm just holding off a little bit here in these tackles. Now Brown puts the foot down. Tackle four. Come on, come on, hold. Let's go four. Oh, Papali'i, maybe waits a tackle there. It's maybe he got the, maybe he got the call. Yeah, it's been an impressive set defensively by Samoa up to this point. They're getting high on the edges. They're still getting off the line hard. It's a short side play. Brown gives it to Tomoko. Great hands from Wally Talu. And there's a double for Ronaldo and Wally Talu. OK, I'm seriously going to stop talking now. Is that commentator's curse again or what? I've gone off too early. Well, if Kiwis just squeeze a little bit more in this game. Another try in the second half. That's the fifth one. That combination between Tomoko and Mulitalo has been sweet all yeah, game. It's been really good and a really good finish here. To get the ball high and get low so quick. Cover was good. They had numbers in the picture. Sometimes you've got these elite wingers, they can just finish. And there's no stopping them. Bit of spice from Ronnie to the crowd. Yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, Rico Ioani got into a bit of discussion in that game against Ireland last week as well. He's Arco and he's got a wide out conversion attempt. But yeah, that combination has really clicked between Tomoko and Muli Talo. Really only had a week to get it sorted, haven't they? It's again that sort of argument around the structured attack against the unorthodox, the, the unstructured, the ad lib, the offloads, the going, the way that probably you're not thinking they'll go because nothing's there sometimes it can just catch you a little bit off guard and we spoke earlier about these edges continuing to stay connected on the end of the line expecting anything in this case maybe there was just a little bit of hesitation to get off on that edge now on Molitalo good day for the Kiwi wingers two tries each now in the game and that's always a good sign too Sean means things are working on the way up to the win yeah everyone's doing their role on the inside you know, our wingers these days, they're scoring, they're finishing in amazing fashion, but the detail that goes on to get them the ball, uh, like we've seen multiple times tonight, yeah, they'll be thanking their boys uh, throughout the week during the review for sure. Great kick from Isako from the side, only six from eight in the game now, 44 points to nil. Hard to believe this Kiwi team is their first game, they are looking a well oiled machine. Yeah, they are. They've been really good, really good. Samoa, it probably won't feel like a 44-point difference. You know what I mean? They've completed it, what, near on 60%. And that's always going to hurt you, especially when you're chasing the game, going after it with these short kickoffs and not getting the ball back again. Uh, let's not forget that. So there's been parts of their game that don't reflect 44 points to nil, and I think they've got to hold on to that. And also, the Kiwis are completing at 78%, so there's room for improvement for them as well. Which is scary, right? So... Well contest with the ball. Beautiful pass from Brown and Neen's away. Good run from Griffin Neen. Kiwi's hot on attack again. Nickel Pukstar. Here's Liotta. Well, a chance to bring up 50 points for the Kiwis now. Inside these last four minutes, James Fisher Harris. Again, they're looking down the left. It's Dylan Brown. Wisely takes the tackle. Stand now, Gordon Holt. Marcus Square. Holt. Go three. Brown. Eliota handles again. Hold. Release now. Holt. Go four. Brown. That's Hughes out to Nickel Crooks. He's going to surrender the tackle, is he? Great sense, hasn't he? <laughs> Keeps going back to Thompson. Oh, last tackle. Release 
The last play now for the Kiwis. Again, they're looking for things down the left and straight through to score a try. Oh, that's a sweet day for James Fisher Harris. Good. What a day for the new Kiwis captain. And now the Kiwis have the chance to bring up 50. Again, the short drop off. Oh, the short restart, sorry. Kiwis getting front foot footy straight away, putting some more straight on their trial line again. You got to feel for him, but again, the Kiwis so good. Jerome Hughes, ball playing 101. Silky, silky. Timing is everything. And when you've got a big front roller charging like that, especially if you're a skipper, you can't play out the back. You're hitting him short nine times out of ten. I saw you guys play for Adam Fanua Blake several times during the season, just like that, can we? Yeah, similar, and I think that uh, that element of, uh, OK, he's going to take my head off if I don't pass him the ball here, <laughs> is probably why we played short to him and he, uh, he does the rest, so much like Fish has in this case. Well, that is also a big moment for James Fisher-Harris. That's his first try in the Kiwis jumper as well. So, a big day for James Fisher-Harris. These two, Thompson and Fisher-Harris, they look like they're cut from the same cloth. They are built the same, they run the same, they're both physical, get down, play the ball fast. A really good day for the Kiwis, and now, interesting whether he's a uckle, can get it up to 50. Well, it's 18 nil at half time. As the Kiwis executed beautifully in the first half, and they have kicked clear big time. Tough game for Samoa. So 50 points to nil. James Fisher Harris. He's got the eye of the tiger again. He's a man that never. Stops playing until the final side. Yeah, it's good to see the big fella get rewarded. He's laid the foundation for everything that they've done today through the middle part of the field. So he's gone out, parked himself a little wider, and run through a nice little inside shoulder. Surely some more goes long here. Doesn't look like it. Keep attacking, eh? Uh, see, that's why we got you into the call today, mate. You can see things before they happen. Well, that's going to be lost by Dylan Brown. Just the attempt there of the contest. Samoa oh, still playing right. to the 80th minute, which is a good sign. And the crowd. The Samoan fans are still tardying until the last minute too, so... There's Falunga. Papali'i. Handed that with a bit of authority, didn't he? Here's Volkman. Utoi Kamanu. So one last play here for Samoa. Yeah, and they end this game with a try, Falongo. Will he have time to play it? That is going to be the game, and the Kiwis, what a statement they have made to start their Pacific Championship campaign. They have shut out someone a very impressive performance. Nine tries in the game. Final score here at... Eden Park, New Zealand 50, Samoa 0.